uh, your boy Chili. Make sure that you guys uh, drop a comment. Make sure you guys subscribe, just Chili.tv. And follow your guy at just Chili, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. My guy here listening to this super soft music. <laughs> yeah, this is what we're listening to right now. So um, that's not me. <laughs> this guy right here. We are on our way to Post and Butte and uh, I cannot wait to check out my guy Zion Burns, my man Cocomelo, and uh, this quarterback uh, who I think is super legit. Gavin Lloyd is legitimate. He really improved passing the ball. I saw him last week against Ben Franklin. He really brings a dual threat, a true dual threat to the Broncos. And then this Amari Gilmore kid, a transfer from Richards High School from Chicago, by the way. He's a real two-way player for the Broncos and really been good transfer from Chicago. All right, but we gotta talk about some of these boys from AJ. I am super excited to see my guy Jordan Digos get loose tonight. Uh, Lamangelo over there, a quarterback. Um, and they got this super talented freshman, Isaiah Savoy. Uh, super talented athlete over there. One of my highly ranked 2024 kids. Hey, this is gonna be really exciting. Uh, it's been a while since I've been to Post and Butte. Oh, I do need a helmet decal, so I'm gonna have to go try to snatch one off a helmet, you know, because that's what I do. So, I'm gonna obviously like not put any of the off. All right, just got to Post and Butte. I had to wait through this crazy accident. I gotta pee so bad, and the game's about to kick off. What do I do? Go pee or go watch kickoff? Eventually. Post and beat bringing them big hits. Defense held it down. Kept the uh, Apache Junction in First check. From their own. Well, I don't want to like he out of there. He fast. He's still going. Hey, that's one way of getting the ball right back, not even having to have your defense come out and uh, take the field. All right, guess the defense is going to have to come out on the field at Patchy Junction with the interception. How you doing, man? I got Gavin Lloyd throwing for a touchdown. First quarter was action packed. Uh, my guy Gavin Lloyd got loose. Took a long one, had a call back. Zion Burns got a long run. He got to keep that one. Those points are on the board. And then Gavin Lloyd, you know, handled that business with his arm. Dual threat quarterback. Oh, get on it, get on it! I'm not even gonna lie, I have no idea where the ball is until it's like up in the air or until somebody's running with it. Gavin Lloyd kind of got it back, you know, got in the end zone easy, uh, just walking right around the corner. Ooh, my guy Lamangelo getting through the line. 
I think he's gonna throw the first down. plays and uh looks like they're gonna get the ball back the offense will take the field uh let's see who does it is it gonna be zion or gavin i'm not sure but either one of them they have some uh serious speed that they can uh score in one play zion burns is really fast man and he's still going it looks like a touchdown Man, they gotta get this two minute drill going. All right, so we got four minutes left in halftime. Currently the score is 28 to nothing. Um, Apache Junction is struggling. I am curious. What are your thoughts? How does Apache Junction get back in this game? Well, you got to contain the outside because Zion gets there real quick. He's fast, fast, fast. Gavin Lloyd's really good at, at, at concealing the ball. Uh, I've lost him on some of these handoffs. Hey, for everybody that's getting motion sickness watching the vlog, you blame Gavin Lloyd. I like Brooks. I like that receiver. Um, Post and Mute's got some tools. I was wondering if we are being too nice ranking them number one in 4a but i'm watching them and i think they can hang with mesquite no problem i don't know about no problem but they are fast they got some things going on they got a nice big line i like this number 70 a lot post and butte looks kind of complete yeah yeah and on, on the other side i'm loving the young digos man he plays hard one of my favorite multi-dimensional athletes over there he can play some wide receiver he can play some defensive back i like him as a nickel he can also you know do some quarterback things i know they're Happy with Lamangelo over there, another generation of that. But man, my man, Isaiah Savoy, one of my highly ranked freshmen. I am super impressed with what I've seen from him, even though they're down 28 to nothing. Yeah, I hope he stays out here, builds the culture and, and just has success. My freshman taking some tough hits, man, and he ain't gonna make it to a sophomore year if he keeps taking hits like that. <laughs> My man Gavin Lloyd about to start putting his name out there as one of the top dual threats in the state in 4A. Oh, my guy Savoy making the nice play, uh, breaking down the middle. Hey, going a long, long way. headed to the fourth the score is 34 to nothing uh post and butte is literally all over apache junction my man brody Bullard doing a lot of things out there very very active on defense and isaiah savoy isaiah savoy making some big plays and trying to keep his team in there My guy Ralph about to take off. It's 34 to nothing. 9.17 left. Apache Junction, he's lost faith.
Uh, my man Coco Mello getting involved in the offense. Team speed over here. This is the fastest post and view team that I have seen. This looks like it's gonna be a safe. Yep. It's over for my guy Gavin Lloyd tonight uh, as Post and Butte has officially brought in a brand new quarterback up 43 to nothing. Lamangelo with the keeper and uh, gets a uh, Apache Junction on the board. Hey, you lose your one call there? 17.4 seconds left, uh, 49 to 6. I feel like it's victory formation time. Hey man, you guys are undefeated right now. Talk to me about that feeling right now, your senior year with everything that's gone on. Man, I'm excited, man. I'm ready for the next game. You know, we got 10P next week. And we hope to keep it rolling. We plan to do something great this season. Speaking of doing something great, you have had some great quarterback play. Gavin Lloyd has been lights out. One of the top dual threats out there? Yes, sir. Gavin, that's my QB, man. I love him. We've been together since my freshman year, bro. He's always been great. Amari Gilmore, how special has he been for your defense? It's Amari. like he's everything on your defense yes. that you are for the offense. I know, yeah. Amari, Amari's a stud. Amari's a stud, man. Listen, what's your favorite class right now? Who's your favorite teacher? Uh, economics, Mr. Maloney. That's my favorite teacher. It's good. Yeah? Economics? Economics. Hey, gonna have them bills right, all that, you know, gonna make sure that that cash flow is Sorry. steady. Use that scholarship the right First, way. I gotta right? know, what did you say to that dude from Apache Junction that got him so Okay, high? so I didn't say anything. I just I just stood over him. Like I said, like, you know, that's that's kind of wrong on my part, but I pancaked him. I got I got a little hype about it, so I stood over him. He didn't. I didn't say anything, though. Okay. Everybody thinks I said something, but, you know, I just kind of looked at him, gave him that look, and he just hit me in my face. So. Hey, man, I thought, yeah. I, I thought that you might have done the syrup thing over him or something. <laughs> I thought maybe you offered him a donut. I wasn't sure. At that point, it was like 43 to nothing. You know, so. I, was, I was too tempted to, but I, I had to keep my cool and just, you know, realize it's about the team. So, what makes this Post and Butte team so special? I would just say our speed, you know, our just pure speed. We've been uh, taking our speed training serious since freshman year. You know, we've had big plans since freshman year. So, just the dedication for all throughout all four years is just, you know, really coming out this year. So, people are talking about you guys with the ALA Queen Creeks, with the Mesquites, with the Cactuses. Where do you guys belong? I think we belong with the with the bigger teams in the four A region. You know, I feel like we got we got some things to prove still, and that we uh you know we got a long journey to go. So I don't think it's over yet. Hey, my man uh, Zion Burns over there telling me you got to be one of the top dual threat quarterbacks in the four A. Do you feel like that now? Yeah, I feel a little bit better now. You guys are absolutely tearing through everybody right now. Games haven't been close. We're just gonna get better. Keep doing it. What, what's your favorite class right now? What's your favorite? Uh, who's your favorite teacher? Who's giving you the best grades right now? Who's helping out Gavin Lloyd for I his like future? Mr. Maloney. Shout out to Mr. Maloney. Hey, are you guys all in the same economics class? Yeah. <laughs> oh man. So economics is on fire. You guys, yes. is, you guys' paychecks all gonna be deposited properly in the future. Yes, sir. Hey, well, y'all depositing on the scoreboard right right now, so it's all. Good. Besides ridiculous team speed, what is separating uh, you guys from all your opponents so far? Because the gap has been very, very large. I'll, I'd just say in the trenches, you know, Coach Delatore on the offensive line just does a great job with those guys. And we have some young guys, and we've had some moving parts on the offensive line. And it's been next guy up, and they've all done just such a great job. And so that's kind of the, the locomotive that gets the, 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 the train running. I love seeing what Zion Burns is doing, but most importantly, I absolutely He's love fun this. fun to watch. I love this quarterback play of Gavin Lloyd. Yeah. Uh, doesn't make a lot of mistakes. Uh, does everything right and does everything you ask him to do. Yeah, he had one that he won back. He was he was really he was really disappointed with himself early on. He flipped one out there that he knew he shouldn't have. But he does a great job commanding things, and we put some on him where 
where we run a bunch of different types of option stuff with them and and uh, he he tends to make some really good decisions and he's pretty he's pretty dynamic on his own accord too so so really you add him to the running back core and 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 that's that's where we're going to get five deep right there so uh, hey. he causes some problems for defenses for sure and Cocomelo, his energy that he brings to the field every time he steps on has been absolutely amazing i know he missed the first two yeah we're so happy to get him back he he is he is the energizer bunny out there he is buzzing around and he just loves his teammates and he loves to play fast and i think that they're, they're a really good cohesive group with some dynamic seniors and some great juniors and sophomores that are all coming together and they're meshing together really well Hey, there's going to come a time at the end of the season and there's going to be an undefeated post and Butte team. Do they belong in the open? Do they belong in the open? Uh, remains to be seen, but if they get there, you know, more power to them because that, that's an honor in itself. All right, man. So I'm curious. A lot of people are talking about this. Uh, a 4A team may qualify for the open. Is that something that you guys want to do? Do you guys want to be in the open or do you guys want to be in the 4A conference playoffs? Man, I mean, if, if it happens, it happens. Like, we're not scared to, but it's not something that, like, we want to do. But we will. We will play.